We have a problem. It's a problem that the left does not want to talk about. The number one issue facing black America is that fathers have been removed from the home, and yet Democrats want us to put illegals first. I say no thank you. I say build the wall. I say, I don't want a Green New Deal, I want a Black New Deal. And the good news, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, is that that actually can be free. It doesn't cost $93 trillion. First and foremost, stop selling us our own oppression. Stop taking away our self-confidence by telling us that we can't because of racism, because of slavery. I've never been a slave in this country. Stop telling us that we need to be obsessing over our past when we should be obsessing over our future and the potential that we have. Stop having a culture which tells us that we should want to be hip-hop artists and basketball players when we should want to be doctors and lawyers. We need to stop idolizing people like LeBron James and start idolizing people like Dr. Condoleezza Rice and Dr. Ben Carson. How about give us school choice? That would be nice. Stop murdering our offspring. It's common sense that the left does not care about racism, they don't care about sexism, they don't care about misogyny. When the left results to calling me, as I have read it, a racist, sexist, a Nazi, because I really have the look going for me. The words have completely lost their meaning. They have no arguments anymore. It's common sense to me that conservatives need to start invading culture. There are 3.6 million black children living below the poverty line, 4 million Hispanic children that live below the poverty line. It's common sense today that the black community and the Hispanic community should not be governed by liberal ideology. It's time for a Blexit. The left is terrified right now because it takes just 5%. If we move the black vote 5%, the path of least resistance to defeating the left is awakening the minority community, awakening black America. We've been lied to, we've been abused, we have been used, and we are suffering. If we make an effort ahead of 2020 to embrace the black community, to embrace culture, we can save this country. I want to thank all of you for hanging in. I know it has been a tough year being a fan of Candace Owens, constantly fighting, constantly punching back, um, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the grace of God, without your support, without your comments uh, that helped me lift my head when it's been a bad day. I want to thank uh, Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA, the greatest student organization. And above all else, uh, just to thank God, because a year and a half ago, I was on YouTube. And what makes America great is how quickly your life can transform if you stop viewing yourself as a victim and start viewing yourself as a victor and a piece of the American dream. God bless.